Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another lightning round with the School of Education. Today, our special guest is Dr. Cl Carol Cloggis, and she is a dyslexia therapist and one of our wonderful professors at the University of Houston, Victoria. October is Dyslexia Awareness Month. To that end, we want to bring you short clips to help you learn more about what dyslexia is, common characteristics, and things to consider. Dr. Cloggis, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Today, Glad to be here. Thank you. Today, we want to provide some helpful tips for educators. So if you can share with us, what are some key things that educators should teach dyslexics? Well, it is important to keep in mind that whether someone is dyslexic or not, everyone learns differently. And it's best to always know your students. Um, if you are teaching um, someone who has the characteristics of dyslexia to read, it is important to understand how they are taught and what they are taught. So I'm gonna focus on the what right now. And that is for really and truly, not just dyslexics, but any reader. What I'm gonna share with you is just good sound uh, science of teaching reading practice based on research. And first you wanna make sure that you're teaching phonics and phonemic awareness. And phonics is basically the study of sounds and phonemic awareness is um, being able to distinguish sounds in a language. So um, an example of phonemic awareness would be recognizing that clock and dock rhyme. So that would be like an example of phonemic awareness. You wanna be able to teach students the sound symbol association, meaning that um, a sound has a corresponding letter. Like if you are working on k, k, k that can be difficult because k, can be a C, a K, or a CK. Um, so you, you have to be able to teach the students those sound symbol associations, and you'll teach them rules of when to recognize um, writing a C versus writing a K versus writing a CK. So it's important to teach kids the rules when you are teaching them. Um, you also want to teach syllable instruction. There are seven types of syllables, and you want to make sure that as you're teaching kids the sounds and the letters that correspond, you also want to teach them syllables, because that's how we divide words up into parts and make them easier to sound out, as well as um, define. And we want to look at morphology, and this is looking at um, words in their smallest parts, and this would be breaking down a word like um, retest, all right? The um, base word would be test, and the RE, the RE, would be a prefix. So that prefix is something you would teach students in the study of morphology. Then we also wanna teach students syntax. And when I was going through school, we didn't call it syntax, um, we called it grammar, and I'm talking K-12, and um, I was hit hard with grammar and Ooh. had to diagram sentences and make sure I recognized all the punctuation, and syntax is the mechanics of a language. It is grammar, uh, where you put the period, what does a period do, um, those dreaded semicolons and colons, when do you use one, but that would be syntax. And then finally, you want to make sure that you teach student about semantics. And this is the meaning of language, um, that um, the way you write a sentence uh, can affect its meaning, um, the different um, context in which you would say, um, for instance, I'm being a little more formal in this discussion because it is out there for many to see and we're talking about a, uh, a very uh, important topic. Whereas if I was with my friends, the words and um, the speed of which I'm talking would change. And that is semantics. So those are the things you wanna keep in mind when you're teaching someone to read, not just dyslexics, but any student needs to have those elements within their curriculum. Excellent. Thank you so much. So to wrap it up, what would you say are some best practices for educators to consider when they are teaching dyslexics? Well, again, all learners are different. And I believe that the things that I'm going to mention um, are important for all readers, but especially dyslexics. You want to make sure that you have a multi-sensory approach to teaching reading. And that means not just hearing the sounds um, or saying the sounds, but being able to um, move and have manipulatives um, match a picture of a cat with the letters C-A-T, that would be multi-sensory. 
um, you want a systematic cur curriculum. And systematic means you're gonna be building. You start at um, foundational skills and you build on those. And one of the basic foundational skills would be phonemic awareness, as I mentioned um, earlier. You wanna make sure you've got a cumulative that um, you are not only going in a logical sequence, but that you're building and you're adding to. And I mentioned um, teach students rules. Well, as you progress with learning um, sounds and sound letter correspondence, um, you also want to um, share with students the rules of when you use certain letters. Okay? You want direct teaching. Um, it is the teacher has to be there and teaching them directly here's the sound, here's what the letter looks like, and watching the students practice that. You also want to make sure you do assessment, uh, a, a formative assessment, that means ongoing, um, a little bit at a time, and you want to base your teaching on your assessment results. If a student's not getting it, don't move on. And you want it to be um, analytical, which means you want to teach students to um, um, break words down and you want students to study vocabulary and what word meanings are because uh, where a word originated affects how you pronounce it and affects its meaning. So you want to have all of these things in conjunction with teaching someone to read. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for spending some time with us today, Dr. Clogges. I hope that everyone is now better educated about what dyslexia is and that you've also learned about some of the most common characteristics and how to teach those students that, who are dyslexic. So don't forget, October is Dyslexia Awareness Month. Tune in for more lightning round episodes this month specific to dyslexia. UHV offers a master's degree in special education with a concentration in dyslexia. And we also offer a three-course certificate certificate program. Simply go to uhv.edu slash dyslexia to learn more. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.